welcome to my channel, Jump Seat Free. I'm a Phoenix based flight attendant for Regional Airline, and today it's all about reserve. And why, you might ask? Because the month of September, I was put on reserve. <laughs> so let's all take a moment and cry for me, please. Thank you. So you might be wondering, what is reserve? Reserve is basically being on call for your company. There's a certain time that's in place. For my company, for the month of September, um, you're either on call between 5 a.m. and 5 p.m. or 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Airlines need reserves for flight attendants who call out. That's what you're there for to fill in for those flight attendants that call out. My company has um, two types of reserve. You're gonna have ready reserve, which is when you sit at the airport for eight hours and you have a 20 minute call out. Um, and that can vary in time based on what eight hour block you're gonna have. Mostly it's like from 5 a.m. to 1 p.m. or somewhere in there in like 15 minute increments. And you have to check into the airport and sit there for eight hours to be called. And you have 20 minutes from the time you're called to get to your gates, um, wherever they need you at to fly. So my personal opinion, I think that should be illegal. Dry, sitting at the airport for eight hours drives me insane. It's not something I ever want to do, ever. Not on reserve, not waiting for a flight, not delayed for a flight, ever. <laughs> so, um, but we do have that at my company. The second type of reserve we have is at home reserve, and that's a two hour call out. So from the time they call you to the time you have to report at the airport, they give you two hours to do that. We're on call for 12 hours out of the day, and we only have a.m. or p.m. So like I said, for the month of September, it's 5 a.m. to 5 p.m., and then that's the a.m. reserve. The p.m. reserve is from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. And you can be called anywhere from the minute you start down to the minute you leave, or you're off. You don't really leave, you're just off. Um, so yeah, those are the two types of reserves that we have at my company. Who gets put on reserve? So, it's all about seniority. With my company, it's just, it's all about, it's just, it just really is all about seniority. Um, so, depending on how junior you are and how junior, senior your base is, will depend on how long you are on reserve. Me personally, it took me 10 months at my base in Phoenix before I was able to get a line. And I'm still not even a guaranteed line holder, as you can tell, because this month I got placed on reserve. And that's because for the month of September, our flying was dropped down so low that I was not close to the number of lines that they were gonna have for our base. So that, so that's why I got put on reserve. So yeah, just to quickly recap that, it's just, it's about your seniority, how junior or senior your base is, depending on how long you're gonna be on reserve. Then there's people who our senior who can hold a line and get what they want in a line who decide to be on reserve because they don't want to work. <laughs> so if you're senior enough on reserve and there's so many people junior to you, those people are going to get called first before you get called. So some people will um, bid reserve, that way they don't work, essentially, you know. Um, and then there's also people who bid reserve because they're so junior to a line that they're not going to get the days off that they want. Which for my company, when you're bidding reserve, you're basically bidding for your off days. So if you need certain days off, um, if you want to try to plan a vacation, 
stuff like that or get a good block of days off together people will bid reserve who are senior enough to where they know that they're going to get what they want for instance when i bid for my month of september i did only one layer of reserve and i just asked to have certain days off mostly weekends and that's the only layer i needed because i'm senior enough on reserve that i basically get my layer one that's layers and bidding is a whole nother subject so if you're not familiar with that at all like just really completely disregard that just like understand when you have a line and you can bid for a line you're either junior or senior that's depending on you're going to get what you want same with reserve if you're on reserve and you're bidding for reserve if you're junior you're probably not going to get the days off that you want if you're more senior on reserve you're going to get mostly what you want off okay so hopefully that's not too confusing um but those are the those are the types of reasons that um somebody would be on reserve it's either about seniority preference and days off or if you're senior enough and you just don't want to work then you've been reserved <laughs> okay so let's talk about the pros and the cons of being on reserve I'll start with the cons. They can call you as early or late as they want. So, um, me personally, for the month of September, I'm on AM reserve, so 5 a.m. to 5 p.m. So I can literally get a call at 5 a.m. with a two-hour call out to report to the airport. I can also get a call at 5 p.m. <laughs> to start a trip. So um, that's a huge con because if that ever happens, you've already been on call for 12 hours. And maybe you're not doing that, that, like maybe you're not doing anything all day, but you're waiting and you're like anticipating that phone call. So it's like really, really nerve wracking. Um, another con is you're not paid protected. So if there's weather delays, um, if there's cancellations to your flights, anything like that, you're not paid protected for but you are at least paid a guaranteed number of hours the days you are on reserve. The next one is a con to me um, because I don't like to have my phone on um, and I don't like to keep it by my side all day. So you have to have your phone on, the, on volume all day. So you can't have it on silent all day, which drives me insane because I hate hearing notifications. Um, and also like when I take my dog out for a walk and like when I go anywhere, I can't just leave my phone. I always have to have it on me. Um, so for me, that's a con because I'm not the type of person that likes to have my phone at my hip or on all day. Um, and then the last con is just the uncertainty. Like you're not really sure um, if you're gonna get used or not. And you can't really make plans because sometimes you really can't tell if you're gonna get used or not. Um, so that's a huge con when being on reserve. So now to the pros, because there are just a couple um, there's more cons than pros but um, the, the first pro the first pro of two that I have is you you essentially can make your own schedule um, as far as the days off that you want like I mentioned I'm senior enough on reserve in my base that I can bid to have the weekends off and I will I will get it I can bid preference in AM or PM and I will get it. So I don't know what kind of trips I'm going to get throughout the month, but I will know the days off that I want and I can make my schedule based on the day. I can make my schedule for the days that I want to work. Um, but we are, but with that said, we are still, we do still have a minimum of days off we can have in a month. So we do have a minimum or a maximum of days we have to work. Um, so for us, it's, let's see, if there's 30 days in the month, we get 11 days off. Yeah, and then if there's 31 days off, or days in the month, then we get 12 days off. My second pro is, you may be on call the whole month, or maybe for that week, and you won't get used. So you could have more days off than your actual days off and you still get paid. 
So being on reserve, you're guaranteed a certain number of hours that you're going to be paid. So that is a huge pro. That goes back to me talking about um, the flight attendants who are more senior in bid reserve so they don't have to work. They don't have to work, but they're still getting paid. So that's a huge pro. It doesn't always work out like that, but when it does, I mean, it's that's what that's what you want on reserve actually is <laughs> to be on call and not get used but still get paid. It's like the perfect schedule right there. You're still getting paid even though you're not working. That's what everybody wants to do, right? So that's a huge pro. So that's my video on reserve, all about reserve. I hope I hit all the points. Um, I kind of like wrote out a notepad to make sure I stayed on topic. Um, I think some areas I got a little bit too in depth with that may have confused maybe some viewers. Uh, so let me know in the comments if you need me to clear anything up or you have any other questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Um, I know reserve is different for different companies. Again, I work for a regional airline. This is how reserve works at my airline. I'm not sure how it works at other airlines. Um, I don't work for other airlines, so I'm not really sure. Uh, I hope this video was helpful if you did have any questions about being on reserve. And I hope you liked it. And thanks for watching. Have a good day.